Uh, this is the BR6 Geiger counter. It's one of the cheapest Geiger counters out there, and you can buy it for around $50 a round. I modified it a little bit. Uh, just add a external Geiger Miller tube. So, there it is. There's the, uh, I don't know, tutorial of it. You click the arrow, and you start counting. As you can see, it has a very, very poor digital display, but that's fine. You get what you pay for, and it works. If you shake it a little bit, it will start counting very high. This is basically the Geiger tube of the Geiger counter, but it has been uh, taken out and placed in a flush trim bit box of it. That's about it for the ex external options, so now let's unscrew it. It runs on two AA batteries. Okay, um, putting the fingers on the floor. Okay, uh, this is the bare bones of the Geiger counter. As you can see, I just took the Geiger Muller out, put it in a bit box connected with a wire and I just wired it up and soldered it here. It is very technical and it's very nice. It's nicely made because well, it's $50, no, no wonder. It's not like they're cheap or anything. Alright, so what you have here is a 8 ohm speaker, of course, because it's a typical Geiger counter speaker. And that's where the Geiger Muller was. Pause the negative side, just to remind you not to short it out. And I will test out, and I'll help let you see it, hear it, moron. <laughs> <laughs> That's the little speaker. Now I shall bring the phone to it. Now you heard it. I don't have a radioactive sample with me now because I had it. I still have. Oh, the screw just popped out. Now I shall show you what the different buttons do. This is to. Uh, Put it to constant noise or to just shrapnel noise, like what I like to call it. It just ticks, ticks, ticks with the sound, but it's really loud and it beeps like hell. This is the decimeter counter, which just... It's the limiter of how much uh, you think you should be receiving. That's about it of the Geiger counter. There's nothing else to say except for the bare bones of it. Well, I like it very much. It's very fun. And you can search for nuclear materials up here and there. Time to screw it back.